Welcome to the Tail Slate. I'm Ben Stacy, and this is Tim Evans. And on this edition, a big lead in challenges doesn't mean victory. Bless his clumsy little heart. <laughs> and romance is dead. Ooh, yes, it is. <laughs> I liked the line from David right at the beginning. I don't know if it was when they got back, or it was might have been referring to when they got back. But he, in his little interview there, he goes, "It's oh no, or, no, sorry, was this David or Zeke? Sorry, no, it was David, wasn't it? It's people I trust versus people you trust." David was talking about the previous vote, and uh, so now it's it's people I trust versus people you trust. You know, it seemed to make more sense when he said it <laughs> <laughs> in context. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, and then uh, they had a little interview with Zeke talking about uh, how you know they're stupid. They got rid of the, one of their own. One of their own. Uh, he was being a bit duplicitous, but that's hardly a criticism of him because this game is entirely about that. You're going to be playing both sides. You're going to be playing people. So, Well, I was surprised they voted off one of their own, too. Yeah. Considering that was the only tribe where the Gen X actually had the advantage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I liked how it worked out. Um, so then we go to the green tribe, Ikabula, the tribe with nothing. And Jay and Will <laughs> go looking for the idol. And Jay pulls out this stick. Hey, What's wait that? a minute. What's that symbol on there? It's kind of weird. <laughs> you think? And of course, they cut to the little montage of him talking about his mother. And yes, that's uh, right. Yeah, getting little sentimental votes. And then, oh, look what I found. Yeah. And so he finds an idol yeah, with Will. Will's all excited, too. I, <laughs> I don't know if I would be excited. If I was with you on there and we're looking and you find it, I'd be going, yay, good for you. Damn it. Wish it was me. <laughs> Um, Here, just can I see that for a second? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Michaela walks up on them. <laughs> well, again, it's all about if you find something, you know, it, put it in your pocket, leave, do something. Well, you know, they're told you got to read read it for the camera. So they're sitting there probably reading mm. the thing for the camera. And mm. Michaela, do, do, what you guys got there? <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, we got this. We were going to show it to you. Yeah. Um, Figgy is an idiot. I've said that. Probably every single episode. Well, and Taylor, you don't. <laughs> no, Taylor's Taylor's actually probably more of an idiot. Yeah. But Figgy's just she was completely dumb in this one, completely. Well, I, I mean, right at the at the first challenge they did, yeah, which they did right away, which was nice. Mm -hmm. And she was shocked that the Gen Xers ate one of their own. And yeah, and then oh, I'm so glad Michelle's here. <laughs> No, and Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how Michelle felt. Though. I would not like somebody... that's basically saying, oh, yeah, you're all with us. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, but I can understand her point. That, you know, they were good friends. They're like, each, you know, and then, oh, yeah, great. Oh, I love Michelle. I'm glad she's still around. Yeah. Well, I, Zeke, too, because he's on our original tribe, but... Yeah, uh, you can understand <laughs> the sentiment and what she was saying, but it's Survivor. It's not the right thing to say. It comes say. out wrong. It does. It does. <laughs> Um, I love blindfold challenges, by the way. <laughs> I would not want to be the one blindfolded because you know pain is coming. <laughs> oh, poor Ken. Like two or three times into that. <sighs> oh! Yeah, into that post. <sighs> yeah, go around, go around. The circle's getting bigger and bigger <laughs> yeah, every they time. Yeah, they should have pulled it on the... I can tell you're walking right near the post. Can anyone else see? Whap! Yeah. It was interesting because they had to direct multiple people to different things at a time, too. So, And oh, David... <laughs> Poor, sweet, <laughs> clueless, klutzy David. <laughs> turn right. Turn, no, turn right. Right, no, yeah. right. The other no, right. The box. <laughs> Not that one. Oh, get away from there. Oh, it was painful to watch. It was <laughs> It was good, though, when um, Chris held back, even though he was blindfolded, and he was relaying the messages from Michelle, because I bet you it was hard to hear. Because you know, look at that blindfold. It, it's covering your ears as well. And they're far away, and other people are yelling. I get it. It's loud. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. And they were off to, uh, Takali was off to a big lead. Yeah. And Figgy was the one guiding. Yep. And you thought, okay, they're going to win this one, no problem. Yeah, and they didn't, which was good for, uh, well, it was not, it's nice to see them fall a little bit, even though, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was amazing that Ikebula, uh sorry, not Ikebula, uh David's team, um, what's, the, what's their team, the orange team, 
Michelle, David, Zeke. De Benua. Chris Benua. They won. That was amazing. Come from behind, <laughs> good at the puzzle, win it. See, and so it didn't hurt that David couldn't find a puzzle no, piece? No, it, it doesn't hurt you if you win a challenge if you're bad at it. If you lose the challenge, then you're the, the scapegoat. Well, it looked like, you know, that they were taking forever and it was all going to be his fault. Mm-hmm. But it was, yeah. I mean, what was it, an eight-piece puzzle? Yeah, it didn't look that hard. Although you're trying you're to sell people so... to move it around, yeah. <laughs> and then Ikabula came second, so good for them. Uh, oh, and then McCrispy we had Hannah feeling a little faint there. So it was a, it was a panic attack. And anxiety. Well, we were thinking, oh, is it she just dehydrated? She's in the sun? I mean, she's yeah. not in the challenge, but, uh, you know. Oh, if you're I sitting in the sun, it can be hot, yeah. I know. I mean, you know me, I ride them when they're not yeah. in the shade or cooling off. You can feel yourself going. But is it a weakness? Because she was worried. And, oh, I don't know. It, 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 yes and no. Because remember, as you get further in the game, being perceived as weak is actually a benefit to you because people keep you around once especially once you get to the merge and the individual game if she can make it to there people go oh, she's not a threat i'm not getting rid of her let's get rid of the the big strong guys and of course then they keep the smart puzzle people and <laughs> they win the whole game but yeah um let's see then we have uh <laughs> ken and jess are shocked shocked to find out that Taylor and Figgy are a thing. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. No kidding, really? Wow. I mean, the fact that you're cuddling every morning and holding hands and blowing kisses at each other, uh, we had no idea. No, I love the way they played it, too. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> that was yes. funny. So we get to the immunity challenge. That was a pretty cool challenge. David actually did pretty well, other than having to carry the bags up. Well, one first, and then he dragged the the final two. Yeah, because Jay took three, Ken took three, and then yeah. there's David struggling with one. Yeah, go. Yeah, drag them. You yeah. don't have to carry them all. But that was kind of cool. Um, and then that would be hard doing that puzzle with the balls. With big two learning curve. Big learning Especially curve. Especially with two people. You, you you've got to get the hang of it. Yeah. yeah. It, so that's why I thought it doesn't matter. Uh, Takali was in the big lead again. Yeah. They were way out front. They were had to, I don't know how many minutes, mm-hmm. you know, but uh, they were first at the maze and had a lot of time to work on it. Mm-hmm. Um, Michaela was being quite bossy, but Ooh, it I worked. I was going to use a different B word, but <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. She was right because you really just want so okay, just stay there, just steady it. Don't do anything. Let one person control it. Because they, it worked for them. Did uh, they won? But only because Hannah didn't, wasn't bitchy back. Yeah, she kind of went, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, they, they did. Do, didn't they do a bit of a testimonial with her after? I can't remember if they did or not. No, no. But uh, you can sort of just take it. Okay, we're gonna win. That's fine. But when somebody's barking at you the whole it time and annoying. telling you to shut up and leave, do it, I mean, but what else are you gonna do? You can't go. Okay, screw it. <laughs> like, no. Then you're voted out. Like so. Um, but, but they won, so that was good. Um, Michelle, I was concerned that, uh, Vanua would go back to tribal because Michelle was having trouble balancing on that post. She's all over the place. Uh, but I loved, I loved how Michaela was giving them pointers. Yeah. And then, uh, well, you were giving them pointers. Uh, any reason why? Well, cause they got two millennials on that tribe. Taylor's, oh, we got millennials over here. Yeah, but there's three of you. <laughs> if you can't figure out how to vote one of them off, you don't deserve, deserve to be to here. Home. Exactly, that was brilliant. I love that. Who's going to vote off one of their own? Only Gen X is that dumb to do that. <laughs> um, and then we had uh, them trying to figure out who's going to go. I was a little worried that they might go Ken. Um, See, I wasn't because right away they said, it's going to be Ken, right? Yes. Ken, right? Yes. Ken, right? Yes. So yeah. That usually means no. Usually means no. <laughs> Um, that would have, it would have sucked if he'd gone home because I, I like him. Yes. Um, but Adam's sitting there talking about, you know, you know, the world's screaming at me to get rid of the power couple. I'm thinking, yes, yes we are. Everyone is. <laughs> get rid of the power couple. <laughs> but here's here's the uh, the question. Is he smart enough to do it? Well, no, no. He Obviously, he did it. They got rid of Figgy, which is great. I didn't think he was going to be smart enough, though. Mm, okay. But was that the right target? Should it have been... Figgy or should it have been Taylor? Uh, had to be Figgy. 
first of all, because the, I didn't want to say feud, but at the very beginning, he had already voted for her once, the very first vote. He right. voted for Figgy, and was like, she's the one we want. So, it seemed logical to me. But why, why didn't Ken and Jess go target Taylor and say, hey, vote Taylor off? Well, and would that have been better or not? I, I don't know. You're getting rid of somebody that's strong, but then you're thinking post merge, but you've got to get to that merge, so you still need strong on your team right now. I think Figgy was probably the smarter player, though. So yes, I definitely. would have got rid of her too because her idiocy Taylor came was... from her. Oh, I love you, Taylor, kind of stuff. <laughs> Taylor is just yeah. Let's Figgy go surfing, was dude. Smarter kind of. Taylor. <laughs> yeah, Taylor is just a moron. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I think it ultimately probably was the the right move. So it's going to be neat to see. Well, I think he noticed that, and he mentioned that he was pretty much at the bottom of the millennial tribe. So oh, even though they're in the majority, he was at the one. And Zeke said the same thing. You know, I am kind of at the low end, and yeah, now absolutely. they're in a much better position. Yeah, exactly. They've got connections on both. So see, this is where you're building connections with the other people. And that can come to your advantage when you get back together. Because I don't know if all the Gen Xs are going to come back together would they i don't know i still don't like the idea of voting off one of your own tribe members but as you get further and further away from the split the the, the bonds become lighter exactly because you can build you're more. building new bonds exactly so yeah interesting so I, i'm happy that michelle is still around that her team didn't have to go to tribal i i still like michelle even though i didn't like her at the very beginning i think she's smart um jay is actually smart He's talking about, I'm going to win this thing. Either they're giving him that edit right now so that <laughs> he'll be blindsided or maybe he'll win it. I think so too. Um, Michaela, I don't know how far she can get. She's smart. She's doing what she's, but she's a little bit too vocal. And I think at some point that's going to piss people off. Yes. Annoying only gets you so far. Yeah. And then eventually they go, oh, by the way, all three of my picks for millennials are still in it. They're still in it. You have what? You have uh, I, Jay. I had Jay, Michelle, and Hannah, which and I Hannah. So after the first episode, I picked those three. Do you think Hannah can make it to the end? No. not Well, not anymore, but you never know. Yeah. I mean, she might make it to the end. I don't think she'll win. No. Not a chance. Like I said, if she gets it to the to the merge, they might look at her as the weak player that, yes. okay, well, she's not a threat. Just bring her along kind of That's thing. That's it. So, yeah. Now, that would be neat if all three of my picks in the very first yes, episode actually made it to the cool. final three. That would be cool. <laughs> so, there we go. That's episode six of uh, Surviving Millennials versus Gen X. I'm um, looking forward to, well, I guess we got seven more to go. So, it'll be exciting. <laughs>